Hi everyone, welcome to the frequency domain. In this video we are going to use the CST software to simulate our microSTEP step impedance filter. CST is a multi-domain software with a lot of capabilities and options, which may seem a lot confusing at first, but there are some pre-configured templates that can guide us to what we are really looking for. So let's choose one of possible templates for simulating macro-strip circuits. We will start by introducing some parameters from the designing video. X1 and Y1 are the overall lengths and widths of the substrate. To create any objects, we use the modeling tab and since it's a 3D simulating software, we also need to introduce the ground and substrate layers. So we start by creating ground layer, next the substrate, and finally the pattern of the filter. Since the filter is symmetrical about the y-axis, we just need to create half of the pattern and then use the mirror option. Next thing to do is to introduce the ports and we are going to use the waveguide ports which are more realistic than the skirt ports. Waveguide port is a 2D plane which its dimension can be calculated using this calculator. We use the width of the line that the port connects to it plus the height of the substrate and its dielectric constant. The outcome is a port extension coefficient which we will use to define the waveguide port. Now we define both ports based on this picture. Before running the simulation, we can change the frequency range or the background material if the filter is inside a special atmosphere, which is not in our case, and finally the boundaries. 
Based on the template we have already chosen at the beginning, the software put the filter into a metallic box. But let's say we want to test it in a free space. So we should change the boundaries. The setup solver we could increase the number of passes in order to make sure it reaches the desired accuracy. And since the characteristic impedance of the port could be slightly different than 50 ohm, we are going to normalize our result to 50 ohm impedance. Now let's apply the changes and start the simulation. One of the first things you can check after the simulation has done is the line impedance, which is also the characteristic impedance for the S-parameter calculation. It shouldn't be so different than 50 ohm and we have already checked the box for the renormalization. Now if we look for the S parameters, we can see that our filter works fine with a flat response and a 3 dB bandwidth of around 8.7 GHz. I'm sure you know how to tune your 3 dB bandwidth, we have already talked about this in different videos. That's it for now, thank you all for watching this video, good luck and see you next time.